Hi everyone. So I'm going to show you how to create a tooltip using PyGoobo. So here's an example. I have a, a check button that says clean up files upon exit. And look at what happens when I hover my mouse over it. It shows a tooltip. So tooltips are useful for showing additional information about a specific widget. So when your user hovers over the widget, it'll provide additional details. Uh, it's actually really easy to do, and I'll show you how to do this using PyGoobo. Hi, my name is Jobin, and I'm an open source developer. My channel is called Jobin Pi, and it's all about Python and Linux. Welcome. So right now I have PyGoobo Designer open. I have a very, very simple project. I have a top level window, I have a frame, and then inside that frame, I have a check button. The check button says, clean up files upon exit. So I'm just gonna pretend it's a checkbox that does that. So to the user, that may not make a lot of sense. I might have to provide additional details. So I have two options. One would be to, to make this check button longer, or the other would be to create a tooltip so when the user hovers their mouse over the check button, it provides additional details. So how do I add a tooltip to this check button? So the tooltip feature is not actually embedded in inside PyGoobo Designer, or at least not yet. It might be in the feature. So what we have to do is I'm gonna to go to the code section. I'm going to generate the code for this project. I'm under the application tab. And after I click on generate, I'm gonna click on copy to clipboard. Then I'm gonna to go to my Python IDE and then paste the code that PyGoobo Designer generated for me and I'm going to run it just to make sure it works. Yep, it works. And if I hover my mouse over it, nothing happens yet. So what I have to do next is the following. At the top, I have to put import pygoobu.widgets.simpletooltip. And now I'm going to give it an alias of tooltip. So import pygoobu.widgets.simpletooltip as tooltip. I forgot the T there, so tooltip. And I have to give that check button a name. So if I go back to the pygoobu designer project, just wanna make sure it has a name. Yeah, in this case, my check button has a name. So the name I've given this check button is CHK, which, which is short for check button, underscore cleanup. So make sure you give your widget um, a name that makes sense to you. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into the Python IDE here. So now I'm going to write self.chk cleanup equal builder.get object chk cleanup. So now I'm getting a reference to that check button. Um, so here, this variable will, will get a reference to that check button from PyGoobo Designer. Okay, and then I'm gonna write tooltip.create. And it wants two pieces of information. It wants the widget to associate the tooltip with and the text. So the widget will be self.chk underscore cleanup and the text will be anything that you want. So I'm going to write here, deletes unused files upon application exit. So this just will provide additional information for the user uh, about this check button and what it does. Okay, so let's just run this to see if it works. Okay, if I hover my mouse over the check button, we can see that it provides additional information and the tooltip comes up. So that's basically how you create a tooltip using PyGoobo. So one thing to take note is that the tooltip 
is not technically part of PyGoobo Designer. In other words, you won't find the tooltip option up here in the toolbar. It might end up becoming an option in the future, uh, but for now, as of the date of today's video, it's part of PyGoobo, which means if you want to take advantage of the tooltip feature that PyGoobo offers, um, you have to uh, use it inside your code like this. So you have to import it and then use it um, with uh, the create method. And again, the create method basically just wants the widget and the text to associate with that widget. I hope this was useful to you. Until the next video, thanks for watching.